It said those. Oh my god! Although the sudden appearance of this girl. Bro, that is not funny, bro. Oh my gosh, bro. What's good, Agent Army? It's your boy, AJ. Welcome back to another scary video. And this one got Scary Comp version 90. Now, I ain't here to waste no time, so without further ado, man, let's get it. On the night of March 5th of 2024, a young girl is wide awake at a time when she should be asleep. Despite being past her bedtime, this doesn't stop her from playing with her toys. Throughout the night, Ooh. she remains awake while keeping herself engaged in imaginary play. But little does she know, something unexpected would interrupt playtime. According to the child's mother, the family has been on edge ever since watching the footage recorded on their daughter's security camera. It's around 11 at night when this is captured. Yo, that doll on the bottom right is freaking crazy, man. Now, I want you guys to pay close attention. Pay close attention to the doll on the bottom right. How much you want to bet that doll is going to move? That life-size doll, bro. How much you want to bet it's going to move? If it doesn't move, I owe everybody $5, man. If, I, if the doll moves, I owe everybody $5. If it doesn't move. Can you play for me? Uh, sure. I'll play with you. Gonna jump play, yeah. Bling, 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 bling,
We haven't been in the room in the last two days. We've been a little scared. Are you gonna open it? Where's that life size doll at? When this base boost come on, that's how you that's how you know it's gonna be a rap man. Brace yourself. Hello? I'm dark. Show yourself. What was that? Bro, what was that? Is that a child down there? Passive checking under the bed wasn't already scary enough. She captures this. A creepy looking doll hidden below the mattress. She continues to record when suddenly the doll begins to move. Now it's a bit hard to see at first, but after looking again, its head can be seen shifting ever so slightly. It's as if it knows it's being seen. Looks like all y'all owe me five dollars, man. The tides have turned. The tides have turned. You guys all owe me five dollars, man. Honestly terrified, yeah. the mother bolts out of the room in a panic frenzy. Naturally, she's kept the room locked ever since then. While it isn't known if anything else had occurred outside of the room, the mother continues to post updates, giving her thoughts on the whole situation. But currently, the question on the parents' mind remains unanswered. Just what exactly had dragged their child under the bed? That is insane, man. Really insane. Number seven. In the following video, two friends who work at a hotel are playing with an elevator that's going down to the floor below. Okay. Okay, go, go, go. Both friends are racing against the elevator, running to the second floor before it gets there first. But while heading over, something happens inside this elevator that neither friend could explain. The bad idea. This is what was caught. Somebody can steal your phone or something, man. I got stuck. Gosh. Although the sudden appearance of this girl Bro, that is not funny, bro. Oh my gosh, bro. She actually got me, bro. I know she got y'all too, man. I know she got y'all too, man. Bro, that is not funny, bro. I know y'all y'all laughing, man. Come on, don't laugh, man. Come on. You all got scared, man. It's all bro. Bro is startling on, on its own. It's what happens earlier that's by far the most baffling. Immediately after arriving to the second floor, its door, for some reason, begins to open and close while staying on the same floor. But even stranger is that a faint voice is heard inside the elevator. That's probably her. Mm -hmm. Bro. It kind of sounds like it's saying, mm-hmm, or something along those lines. Now, neither friend could explain this, but surprisingly, this incident is just one of many. It would be at this exact hotel where the two friends work at that another peculiar incident had occurred. Take a look. We're getting crazy calls from Dude, no more this jumps room that is unoccupied in the second floor. And this is like the third time it's happened. And uh, I'm bringing y'all along with me, so... Um, um, um. 
and he was walking that slow, five times speed. Dang, my guy. Okay. That's really dark. The lights don't work. Time to get out of there. Time to get out of there. Call room service. Well, go back to the front desk and say you want another room. He walked all the way into the room. Okay. That's a red flag, man. Look, if the lights don't work, that's a red flag. Just tell him to get another room, man. It's not that big of a deal. Like, they'll give you another room. Just, bro, he walked all the way in that dark room, not knowing what was in there. You don't know what's in there. Just to turn on a, a, a small, dim lamp. Bro. No one's calling. No one's here. Everything's chilling. Bro, please, no more jump scares, man. I'm on edge right now, bro. I'm on edge. Yeah, okay. Ooh, was that a shadow figure? No one here, no phone calls. I'm out. This is weird. Why would you walk in there? The room itself is already creepy enough, but the fact that someone, as he mentions, has been calling from this room makes it even more unsettling. Oh, really? While the employee doesn't state if he had seen anyone or anything inside, he goes on to say that something very strange was caught in this room just a few days ago. This incident was actually captured by his coworker, who was setting up new furniture in this room. Mind you that during this time, the second floor wasn't occupied, meaning that all the rooms on this floor were devoid of any guests. It was just both employees working inside this room when this was caught. This is I found that. Yeah, but... How do you <laughs> the stairs? I don't know, but I mean, I, oh, God. I felt bad, but I'll be like, no, don't feel bad. It's just terrible. <laughs> Getting a little bit. I'm gonna clean it real quick. Yeah. Like, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, so, don't y'all see that? Y'all don't see that I mirror move? Yeah. Like, gonna... Wait, hold on. It like somebody was holding it. Hold on. Am my eyes playing tricks on me? Here? In this corner? The right corner. Okay. Or in that corner. I don't know. I mean, like, I know it's super dark right now, but I feel like personally it would look better in this area. There's just too much backlight. There's like not enough good. I don't know. That's true. But or I mean, there's no light. So much trying to like break into your room. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay. All right. Weirdo. <laughs> in the mirror, a distinct outline of a pitch black silhouette can be seen in the corner of the room. Oh, I didn't. It appears see to that. stand there while seemingly observing the girls do their job. For only a brief moment, do we see the tall figure in the mirror? But as the camera pans to the corner where the figure was spotted, it's no longer there. Like before, the girls were freaked out beyond belief. They have no idea as to who or even what had been in the room, but they'd rather not know, let alone go back inside, as the whole encounter has left them pretty spooked. Whether it's the elevator acting up or the constant phone calls made from this room, they can't shake the feeling that something very strange is going on with the second floor of the hotel. As of now, there haven't been any updates, but until then, let me know your thoughts on this one. I don't know, man. That second clip, that seems fake. I did not see anything, bro. They didn't even enhance the video. Now, this next video comes from a man who, while being alone at home, spots something out of the corner of his eye. It happened while being in his living room, scrolling on his phone. For some reason, he couldn't shake the feeling that someone was watching him. Paranoia was getting the best of him, as he thought, so he tried his best not to think much of it. But just when he started to ease up, he sees it a figure standing at his window. He immediately takes out his phone to record it on the off chance that no one would believe him. Now we don't see the figure on camera, but something else happens that terrifies him to his core. This is what he caught. Okay, look, I'm really tripping out now. Something was looking at me through the window and I heard I'm freaking out. Well, my man's was going so slow, he had to put it at eight times speed. That's great. Okay. 
for something in this house with me. Go towards the noise. I feel like you're going away from him. That voice crack. We're not going to talk about it. There's something in here. I'm telling you. Oh, was that no. a knife? No, but no. Yay! What initially comes off as just a video of someone being paranoid is in fact footage of something completely different. This is made obvious by the sudden movement of kitchen items. But even before that, the man's overwhelming sense of unease makes it clear that something strange is going on. Whatever it might be that's happening, the man hopes to get more of it on camera. And even if he doesn't, then at least he can rest assured that this was captured. He needs to leave. ASAP, no rock. At around 3 in the morning, a truck driver is heading northbound on the I-57 when suddenly he begins to panic. Something had just appeared in his field of vision, and whatever it was, it made him feel terribly disturbed. The person driving is known as Ken McGill, and throughout all his road trips and delivering goods, nothing as unsettling as this has ever occurred. Not sure what he saw, he pulls to the side of the road and reviews the footage captured by his dash cam. Looking at the video, he was glad to have pulled over far away from what he'd seen. This is what he caught. She can go meet up with him and see if she can get him to confess. And it's a tough decision, I'm sure, but oh, he ultimately agreed. Saw that. Out of nowhere, a person dressed in white appears close by. They almost seem to come out of nowhere before leaving out of sight. It happens quickly, but not so fast that it's overlooked. Ken is no doubt thankful that he caught this, but he's also completely terrified. And for good reason. Only a day later after posting this video, an accident had occurred at this exact spot. Reports indicate that those involved in the accident saw a lady dressed in white in the middle of the road, causing them to swerve the car to avoid hitting her. However, when interstate police looked at security footage that caught the event, they only saw the car swerving and crashing, but not the lady they claimed to have seen. It appears that they swerved for no apparent reason. While those in the accident swear that they saw a woman, Ken believes that something supernatural had appeared. Whether ghost or not, this whole incident continues to baffle him. Baffle me. Number four. On a Wednesday night, a family shoots a video to record a special occasion. It's someone's birthday, and they just got surprised. The person whose birthday is being celebrated is known as Danny, and although expecting a surprise party from his wife and kid, he was not expecting the following incident. What was caught during this moment has left the family immensely terrified. This is Danny's video. My birthday was the other day, and my wife surprised me with some sorbet, and my son blows out my candles. <laughs> After relighting the candles, I looked at the footage and saw something. What did you see? A shadow? Now it happens real fast, but in case you missed it, here it is again. Could have been someone when it's hard to see at first, but if you slow the footage and watch closely, you'll notice what looks to be a figure standing behind the family. Only there for just a split second does it appear on camera, leaving Danny unsure as to what was captured. Thinking that his eyes were deceiving him or that it was just his own shadow, he takes a second look. But after seeing this multiple times and sharing this clip with others, he's come to realize that something was in fact behind him. I don't so know. So then, just who or what was at his party? He could be just saying that. I think it's one of the shadows. Number three. Now, just like the previous video, this one involves a family celebrating someone's birthday. Happy birthday, dear Ben. Like Wait, any birthday. He's turning 69? A celebration, a candlelit cake is placed before the honored guest, but there's something about this video that sets it apart from any other festive moment caught on camera. While friends and family sing happy birthday, this happens. Happy birthday, dear Ben. Happy birthday to you. What? Yo, you Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Cha, cha, cha. 
That's crazy. That's Just wild. like viewers, Ben, the birthday boy, is caught off guard upon seeing smoke rise from his cake. It wasn't until looking down that he realized his candles had been blown out. That's wild. He didn't blow them, and neither did anyone else, according to the party. Yet if no one blew out the cake, then what did? This video becomes even stranger when looking at the footage taken from a different perspective. From this angle, we have a closer look at the candles, but it's the way in which they're supposedly blown that makes this incident baffling. They appear to go out as though someone or something had been right in front of the cake, yet the only person who's closest to it is Ben, who clearly doesn't do anything. Man, I would have been it terrified. It isn't certain as to what exactly happened that day, but if viewers had a guess, they would assume something unexplainable had taken place. Bro, the fact that a ghost is probably sitting in his lap, man. Bro, if I was him, I'd be terrified, man. I would have left instantly, bro. Instantly. If you caught something creepy on camera, or if there's any ghost videos you'd like me to check out and include in the next compilation, you can send them over to scaryvideos444 at gmail.com. That being said, let's get back to the video. Number two. In this next video, a child is getting ready to go to school when something very strange happens. It was on a Monday at around 7 a.m. that this happened. He was packing his lunch for school at a time when no one else was awake. It was just him, alone downstairs in the kitchen. This is where the mother claims to have heard her son screaming out of his lungs in the most gut-wrenching manner. The video captures this, but there's also something else that's caught that no one in the family could explain. This is their footage. A voice Crazy. with perfect clarity is heard on camera. The mother's son claims that it came from the kitchen, yet no one had been downstairs during this time. The whole space was empty apart from her son being there, but as it seems, he wasn't alone. Now this whole incident gets even creepier when listening to the story provided by the mother. According to her, this is what happened after her son came bolting into the bedroom upstairs. He said that he heard a voice coming from the cabinets um, that said to him, how did you find me? Um, when he dropped his noodles, he ran upstairs, came busting in my room, jumping all over my bed, hiding in the corner, screaming and hollering, saying he didn't want to die. Somebody was in the house, somebody was in the house, telling me to get my because somebody was in the house, somebody was in the house, and I'm like, and he finally did get a little bit quiet. We started hearing footsteps. I mean, big, heavy feet coming up the steps. So like now at this point, I'm terrified. I, I throw my robe on, I push him into the room with his brothers. As she states, the sound of footsteps going up the staircase was heard just moments after her son came running into the room. Everyone else had been inside the room, so she had no clue as to who was on the staircase. But after watching this video, she now knows. Either someone was actually there, or, as many believe, something beyond comprehension had paid them a visit. Whatever the case might be, her son's guttural scream will stand out as the most horrifying part about this incident, according to the mother. I guess she was going to school that day. In this last video, a couple of nurses are working the night shift at a hospital in Dallas, Texas, when things get very strange. This video was taken on a certain floor of this hospital, where many patients claim to have seen unexplainable things. On this particular night, two nurses are cleaning up a medical station when this is captured. Did you hear her? Yes. I didn't hear anything. Did oh, it sounds like moaning. So I see them over there. We woke them up. We woke them up. It's very faint, but if you raise the volume, you'll hear what sounds like a little girl humming or even giggling. Oh yeah, that. You hear her? It's easy to miss the first time, but upon hearing it, you won't miss it again. You'll notice this after watching the following video, in which another nurse at the same hospital captures this. Um. Hey, I was just 
Wow. That was you. No, I swear to God. Was that something? Once again, the same humming sound is heard. Keep in mind that no one was occupying these rooms during this time, ruling out the possibility of this having been a patient, or at least a physical one, because apparently, nurses believe that the humming sound is being made by the spirit of a little girl who was once a patient at this hospital but passed away. Whether or not that's the case remains uncertain, but regardless, this video is still a mystery as no one at the hospital knows who's making these humming noises. Like most videos, there has yet to be a definitive explanation for what happened. Interesting. Thanks for watching, and I hope That's you enjoyed. It. Also, if all right, y'all. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. Please tickle that like button, subscribe today to join the AA, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.